Astronomers from the University of Birmingham have been using NASA's Kepler telescope. Its job is to look at 150,000 stars in a small patch of sky. And this discovery comes from a star in this particular patch. And the research starts with the astronomers listening to the star. Just in the same way, if you're measuring and uh, listening to the resonances of a musical instrument or any other body that resonates, the pitch of the tones tells you something about the size of the instrument but also something about the stuff inside the instrument making it resonate. Sped up, we can actually hear what this noise sounds like. This is a similar star and how it sounds. Believe it or not, from all that, you can find out the star's diameter, mass and age. Then the astronomers look for the tiny dips in the brightness of the stars as they pass in front of it. Now, this is real data from four years of watching this star and, well, there's that dip. And from all of this, you can work out that this is a system of five rocky planets, some the size of Mercury, others as large as Venus, and it's two and a half times older than our Earth. It's the most ancient group of planets of its type yet discovered. And it means planets, and so life, could have been around for a very long time. And that has some very interesting implications. Let's imagine uh, an ancient, technologically advanced civilization that has a few billion years head start relative to us. So while this newly discovered ancient system can't support life, planets formed at the same time almost certainly could. And alien life on them might be very advanced indeed. David Gregory Kumar, BBC News, Birmingham.